Oh, how does it feel? Um, obviously, firstly, it's a, I understand it's a massive honour. Um, you know, the captain's before me. Um, you know, it's, it's a huge privilege and a huge sense of responsibility as well. Um, you know, it's a huge football in City. The fans are really passionate about about the sport, about Newcastle, and um, you know, I understand it. And um, you know, to to be captain, especially when I got the armband when I was 22. Under Rafa, it was, you know, it was, I couldn't even dream about it. Um, something that, you know, I never thought would really happen. Um, and, you know, as, as years have gone on, um, it's just different ways of being a captain and, um, you know, just trying to better myself uh, in, in being a captain and obviously as a player as well and uh, just taking on different roles really. But overall, it's just a huge, huge honour. Um, just frustration, really. I think at the time, um, I didn't really feature much. It was my first first season at Newcastle. Um, and I used to travel, obviously train with the first team. I used to travel to the games, sometimes not, not being a squad. Um, then I started to feature a little bit towards probably say after Christmas or something. Um, and then, yeah, I just, seen, I just saw a lot of things which I didn't like and I didn't expect from professional footballers. And... You know, obviously, social media and, you know, seeing comments and seeing fans' frustration and then, you know, me being in the rounds, stuff, why they're frustrated. It was kind of just a build-up, really. And then I think, um, obviously, when I started to play more, I felt like I had, had a bit more of a voice and I just thought it was the right time to, to say something. Uh, obviously, I wish I said something earlier. Um, but like I said, because I wasn't playing too much, I didn't really feel. And I was, I was probably 21 at the time, 2021. 20, so I didn't really feel. Obviously, being in the in a dressing room, being one of the youngest lads, being around all the experienced pros, I did feel like a bit out of place. But I don't know. After the game, with adrenaline and with you know, had this how I was feeling. I, I couldn't help myself, but to be honest, it's, it's sports at the end of the day. Everyone's. Um, there shouldn't be any. There shouldn't be any individuals in a team. You know, we're a team, and we win and we lose together, and we stick together. And um, everyone understands that in every single sport, things aren't always going to be smooth. And maybe sometimes someone might have to get upset or have to be told. Um, and you know, I felt that was that was a perfect example of when when something had to be said, really. I would say Darlow, to be honest. Um, obviously, growing up with him at Forest, you know, I, I know, I know, he's an amazing goalkeeper. Um, and then coming to Newcastle, every time he's played, he's never put a foot wrong. Is is a he's been fantastic for us, and you know, now he's had a run of games. He's proving to everyone, um, you know, how good he is, and um, he's, he's kept us in it in a, in a lot of the games, really. Um, to be fair to him, he's had to he's had to wait a long term. He's had a few setbacks um, over the years, but he's remained a good professional. Is he still sticks to his routine, going in the gym, and just being a good pro. And his patience is is paying off. And uh, now we can all see how well of a good goalkeeper is and a good professional. Favorite restaurant or meal? Uh, but I've, I, li I live in Darrow, so it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of town where I can just quickly go and get something. Um, so after a game, I normally just get a Fratelli's, um, just order it, go pick it up. Um, but then I'm, I'm, if I'm in town, oh, the Bucho's is quite nice, the Vika's quite nice, good little vibe in there as well. So yeah, I, I like to try different places really, to be honest, and try different foods and stuff. So. Um, I'm close. To, I'm really close to two people, really. Uh, DeAndre Yedlin and Kieran Clark. Uh, 
I see Kieran quite a lot outside of um, outside of football. We car share every every morning as well. well obviously, we, we haven't been because since COVID, but um, he, he literally lives around the corner from me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we, we car share. We, I've been on holiday together. Um, I've been around his family. He's been around my family, and yeah, we're just we're just good friends. Yeah, uh, I think as I've got older, it's probably become easier to do that. Because uh, going back when I was 22, 23, I was still new to the Premier League. I was still new to being a captain, being new to playing for a Premiership team. Um, so understanding that as a captain, you also have a role to be a backbone for other people. And, you know, you, you always have to try and lead by example and do the right things and uh, be mentally strong. Um, it was hard initially, but, you know, as years have gone on and um, I've kind of learnt myself, it's, it's it's become easier. But yeah, it's a big part to play. Um, sometimes I have to remind, remind myself, you know, uh, maybe the players look, look up to you, maybe the players, you know, need to see me doing the right things all the time um, and I like to listen to like podcasts and stuff um, from some from previous captains just from like their experiences being a captain and it's it's interesting I just try and like feed myself with little things from you know their qualities the other day I listened to uh, Gerard's and he was talking about just Try not to get too high, like when you're doing well, and try not to get too low when you're losing or not playing well. And um, but also, not just doing that for yourself, but doing that because not to let other people uh, see that. Um, so yeah, I just I just find it I just find it interesting listening to that, and I definitely think things like that help. And just just reminding myself and listening to things, uh, I think it's quite important for me. But I think with COVID and, and stuff, and obviously. You, you're hearing about um, obviously understanding that people are going through tough times and stress levels and finances. I find myself keeping an, not keeping an eye on people, but being a bit more observant of people and how they are because it's a difficult time for all of us. Uh, obviously, we're, we're in quite a privileged position, um, but you know, also my friends back home and things like that, just dropping them messages, just ask how they are and. Uh, just you know, just letting people know that I'm I'm there to, you know, to, to talk to you really, um, and same with my teammates. I mean, everyone everyone seems fine, seems happy. I think a lot depends on resu results and things like that. Uh, but yeah, I just think it's a time where I think everyone needs to play a part in just reminding people and letting people know that whatever they're going through, there's there's always someone that will listen to someone that will, will help and I think in a way it's kind of brought unity within within the people to be honest in an arm wrestle Ooh. wow I don't know uh, in an arm wrestle I'm not too sure I mean Goalkeepers are normally quite strong, you know, they're always using their arms. Uh, not not too sure, to be honest. There's, there's not someone I can think off the top of my head where I think they've got massive biceps. Or if that's the muscle you use for an arm wrestle, I don't know. Definitely PlayStation. I've never played Xbox before. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm after the PS5, but I've told myself I'm going to wait until Christmas. So that's on my Christmas list. Uh, I don't really like to buy things unless it's for a reason. So I think my partner's trying to find, because they're going for silly prices at the minute. So I think she's just trying to find one that's at a normal price, that or the right price. And then I'll, I guess I'll get it for Christmas. Yeah, I've not played Fortnite for a while, to be fair. Um, the new... So, pre previously, I was playing uh, Warzone. 
uh, play it every single day, to be fair, uh, with a few of the lads from football. And then Cold Wars has come out, uh, Black Ops. So I've literally just come off there. I was playing with uh, Callum, Darlow and Andy. We've got a little, and Murph, we've got a little little team going. So, uh, yeah, play play with them boys quite a bit. So, yeah. So, just before this interview? Yeah, literally, I, I had to leave playing that to come on here. <laughs> what have you had more fun doing? What do you think? <laughs> I think every short term, I think every year we need to try and improve in terms of where we finish off in the league. Um, you know, try and build build each year. Well, obviously, initially we've cemented ourselves as the Premiership side, build each year. Um, and, you know, it'd be nice to play for something rather than playing for safety, because um, that's how it's been kind of. I mean, we've, we've always finished in a decent position or decent enough position but it'd be nice to play for something where you're playing for a trophy or you're pushing your rapport you know top six or um, and to be honest with the stadium and the fans and everything else that comes with Newcastle we're not a million miles away uh, you know and I think ultimately that's 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 the main ambition and I'd, I'd say pretty much everyone in the team would, would say that and would want that from the team, really.